So I was about seven months through my rehab, everything was looking really positive and then I wasn't fully back into training, but I was doing a, a bit of a 11 v 11 drill and I just remember being on the mark and then I can't remember who it was, but they had the ball and they tried to step me and I just went to kind of get in his way and just felt my knee kind of collapse in and felt the pop and obviously having done it the second time I knew straight away what it was so I think that's what hurt the most. I remember just going home that night and looking at the calendar and counting the months down if I could play, see if I could play this year but then obviously when I got to North uh, I sat down with the medical staff and all that and planned out that I wasn't going to play this year I think in the long run it's going to really help me. It's pretty flash. I don't know if I'll be able to drive this. Don't want to crush it. All right, ready to go? All good. Pretty much always grew up in Oak Park. Yeah, always been there all my life. Uh, went to Oak Park Primary School, which is probably a 50 metre walk up a hill. Oh, auto break. <laughs> <laughs> Played for Pascoval in my early days and then obviously moved to Keelor and then obviously Calder Cannons after that. Um, it's a good little spot, Oak Park, good area. Oh, I've got some pretty good memories. Obviously, you've still got a few best mates that I still hang around with that, that went here. So, no, it was a really good school and um, no, I really enjoyed my time here. This is my brick. Um, I don't know when they put it there. I just walked to school one day and um, my brother pointed it out. So, it's pretty cool to have my name still there. My nan is Indigenous and our family comes from the All Boston, All Boston Gippsland, so that area. The Gunai Kurnai tribe is, is what it's called. I'm pretty close with my nan and pa. They've been really supportive of me and obviously I love to, to speak to nan and she tells me stories of when she grew up um, in the country and I'm, I'm really proud to represent Aboriginal uh, people uh, playing footy. Um, Indigenous rounds pretty important to me. Uh, Lindsay Thomas has been a massive mentor for me as well. Coming straight out of school and then having to move away get drafted on a Thursday night and having to pack your bags and move up on the Sunday. I moved in with a teammate straight away, Joe Piggott, so it was just us two in an apartment. Yeah, it was a big learning experience. I had to cook my own. Couldn't have any home-cooked meals from mum or things like that. I had to do my own washing, so I think I've, I've learnt a lot out of it and I enjoyed myself living away from home and um, obviously it's, it's good to be back home now and um, having my family and friends around me. I had a good year in the, the knee full my whole first year. Um, and I was, I was looking good going into my second pre-season, I was getting pretty fit and then we were doing a match simulation drill and had the ball, I was running with the ball and then got tackled from behind and as I was planting my right leg it kind of got twisted in the tackle and just failed to pop in my knee. And I didn't really know what it was at, um, at first so I kind of had to wait for the scan and do that whole process of waiting and then finding out obviously the next day that I've told my ACL was pretty devastating. Knowing early that I, I didn't have to rush myself back to play this year really helped so if I have if I had little setbacks here and there it wasn't going to really affect me so I think f from a mental aspect um, that really helped me and I think the plan going forward is to go to the pre-season camp in Utah and just ease my way into a bit of full training and then day one when we come back to the club I'll be fully right to go so it's going to be pretty exciting times I'm um, looking forward to getting into it. Yo, it's my grandpa and my brother. I'm proud, his name is proud, the whole family's proud of him. He's a good fella, always looked after me, taking care of me. He's got older, he's got better and we're hoping for the best next year. Think you'll be pretty satisfied when he pulls on the North Jumper next year? Oh, I think, I think we'll, we'll, the waterworks will be running already. <laughs> I know his nan, you know, can't wait. We've got like this um, gate. I used to kick the footy through and you'd always beat me because it was no good. <laughs> I always looked up to him through sport. Yeah. Mum's got the, the north scarf up here. <laughs> yeah, this is Jackson. He got him when I first moved back down to Melbourne. Big German Shepherd, he's, he's not even one years old, he's massive. In the garage is like a little bit of a trophy thing. I think it's just me and my, all my, me and my brothers. Bit of a collection there that dad keeps. So. Which, is your, uh, which is your most prized trophy? Kilo Grand Final medal. Probably that one. Um, MVP basketball. Pretty much MVP at every sport, so. 